Hey guys, so I finally decided to make a video, I haven't made one for a very long time, mostly because I don't feel like I have much to talk about that hasn't been mentioned already, but I did want to point some things out that I came across, I ended up listening to this whole interview for example, and I came across a couple of interesting things, so one of them is at 50 here. Mm. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I would say that it's, uh, it's actually, it's crazy, but like, Sometimes those those little lot is get you, man. Cause like you like you just like those poor like those poor Russian dudes. They like they think like that lot is just some babushka like coming back from the grocery store, and she mm -hmm. just lives in the gray zone or something. And next thing you know, they just get smashed. Like you guys like people have seen the videos of dudes jumping out of lotus and just coming out and schwacking dudes. Like that's just how it is. Okay, so let's uh let's break down what he says. So he's saying that. The Ukrainians are using Ladas, which is a civilian vehicle, to trick the Russians by using the Russian empathy because they don't want to kill civilians. The Ukrainians are able to trick them in, and kill them because they're using civilian vehicles um, to, you know, go up to them, pretend that they're civilians, and then and then attack them. And this guy's just got a massive smile on his face, and he thinks it's just the the best thing in the world to do, and. Again, this, these are the kind of idiots that went over to fight for Ukraine and they can't rub their tiny little brain cells together and understand that that's a war crime and that kind of shit is why Russians have been given no choice. Like, there's probably some unfortunate empathetic, empathetic Russians still there, but, you know, uh, ultimately everything that Ukraine has done, for, uh, as far as I, I'm concerned, Ukraine is just <laughs> Russia is justified to nuke the shit out of at least Kiev. I hope they leave some other parts of Ukraine um, alone, but definitely Kiev. As far as I believe, what Ukraine has done since the beginning of this war and before that, um, I mean Russia is more than justified to do it. But of course, this kind of stuff just goes above some people's heads, especially the kind of people that go off and fight for Nazis. In, in Ukraine, so they don't understand, and they say this with a smile on their face, and you can see it for yourself, it's clear as day here. Another thing I wanted to see, uh, to show you guys, is one thing he mentioned, is um, how he reckons that, you know, all the, 98% of uh, the civilians are very happy to be, uh, to have Ukrainians come in, well, like again, it's another stupid thing, like of course, you are the fascist in this in this country so when you go to these villages and there are pro-russian separatists there they're not gonna say to your face because they don't want to be taken away in a black van never to see to be seen again because ukrainians are war criminal nazis pieces of shit so they're not going to tell you the truth so of course they're going to tell you what you want to hear because they're terrified of the Ukrainian fascist government that's in control there. Um, now, I wanted to also show you the kind of people that Johnny FD has been palling around with. This is uh, Propaganda Starsky. And this trash bag got a tattoo of a shark on his hand recently. It's a really shitty tattoo. Um, and he got it because there was a... just a random Russian guy who got killed in Egypt who doesn't have anything to do with the war and I think he even is against the war as far as I know I think he was some kind of artist but um he got killed randomly in a tragic event and this guy got a tattoo of a shark commemorating it and again the fascist Ukrainians were going crazy for it they were, they were just so happy to see this like random innocent Russian guy killed like even if you uh, think Russia's wrong in in starting this war or prolonging this war continuing this war finishing this war even if you take that point of view this guy had nothing to do with it he was overseas he obviously didn't rush back to the country to join the military and fight for Russia and yet the Ukrainians were celebrating his death and now even this guy's got a tattoo of it um, because they are fascist, they despise Russians even though they, they share the same DNA because they're racist, they're also pretty stupid so they have this belief that Russians aren't real Slavs 
that they are tainted with the blood of the Mongolian horde when the Mongols were occupying Russia. And so they see themselves as separate from Russia ethnically, which they're not. They are the same, unfortunately. <laughs> and I hate to say that as well, because I'm from Ukraine too. But uh, unfortunately, we are like related, but definitely not related by attitude, definitely not related by mindset. And um, just what a trash bag this person is. And of course, Johnny of these hanging out with him on his birthday. Let me show you some more hypocrisy. So recently we had a guy who was um, getting attacked. So he was against the whole COVID lockdowns and forcing the jab onto people. And he was a very famous celebrity chef. Like he could have made lots of money if he kept his mouth shut and if he just went along with the crowd, but he didn't. He talked out against it and ended up being uh, canceled and People are having a go at him because he posted this um, this meme at one time. Now this meme has the black uh, black sun on it, but I kind of think that he didn't really understand. Like he just saw a pretty butterfly and he didn't understand. <laughs> but uh, this was relating to this is actually a, a um, paying out uh, Trump supporters because it was showing that. Trump supporters become Nazis at the end of the, at the, end of the day. Um, <laughs> so he was probably more, I guess, of a Trump supporter, I'd say. I, I don't know his, his exact political beliefs, but I think he stood more for um, kind of this side of, this, of the spectrum as opposed to the liberal leftist side, even though he is a bit of a hippie. But I don't think he, he understood what the Black Sun was. But the hypocrisy here is, you know, people like this guy whoever's like posted this article they were attacking him and yet I bet these same guys are actual Ukrainian supporters actually let's, let's have a look if they are oh I can't log in I should use Nita anyway they probably are they probably have Ukrainian flags um, somewhere on their profile somewhere <laughs> and uh, the hypocrisy is that even though this guy's got cancelled and got attacked for putting this this black sun is again all over the ukrainian military so here's the by me the fighter jet plane this is like a, a very blatant one again this has you know a quarter of a million views everyone's very happy to support ukraine glory for for ukraine and he's got the black sonnet right there the Symbol for literal worship of Hitler as a day as a deity as a god by the Nazis completely created by the Nazis by the way and again This is the interesting thing like in this article they actually say Where the black sun was made from I think let me see So it says it's developed by Henry Kimmler, but whenever you see a story about Ukrainians having it it's always like watered down a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so they don't actually um, tell you exactly what it is, but um, over here they tell you, tell you exactly it was developed by Henry Kimmler. It was developed by the Nazis. So, but again, so here we have the Ukrainian Nazis, and also in Australia, and this is thanks to Ozzy Kozak for pointing it out. The Bushmasters, which the Australians sent over to Ukraine, now have World War Two Nazi crosses on it. You know, who knows why? <laughs> who knows why Ukrainians would feel the urge to put, you know, a World War II German cross on the vehicle that was used by the Nazis? Who knows? Like, I don't know why. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. It's, uh, I heard some uh, excuses now. It's trolling. They're just trolling the Russians and uh, all this kind of stuff. Um, okay. It's, I mean, it's, honestly, it's not going to make a difference now at this point, but... Uh, people can still believe this if they want, but it's, it's just ridiculous how um, the, just the double standard, the hypocrisy people have. And, you know, if you, this guy can put a black sun up and everyone's going to attack him, but the Ukrainians can go wave it around and everyone's going to love him and send them money. And that's and that's the world we currently we currently live in, um, this kind of world. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little rant here. I'm glad to be back talking shit again and I hope you enjoyed the videos I do post. If I see any more topics, I'll make a video on it as well, but 
I feel like Varar again. As I always say, Varar by the channels uh, out there than to listen to, to me. But these are some things that maybe both channels missed. And um, yeah, all the best, guys. I'll speak to you next time.